Kuzu Zampula, I am Charo. I am your support assistant. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the MLHR MIS for job seekers or employees who wants to apply for jobs and training. How to access the job seeker or employee page. Now, let's open a web browser, but first, make sure your device is connected to the internet. Once your browser is open, type mis.molhr.gov.pt to open the MLHR MIS page. This is the home page of MLHR MIS. Click on the Job Seekers icon under Services to open the Job Seeker page. How to register as a job seeker? Click on Register as Job Seeker button and under the personal details, enter your CID number and your name will automatically be displayed. The field marks with these are mandatory. Fill in the other fields and make sure that the information you provided are correct before you click the Submit button. Once you have filled in your information, click on Submit button and you will see an on-screen message with the application number informing you that your registration was successful. You will receive your login credentials through mobile SMS and the email address you've provided. In case you have lost your credentials, click on the Forgot Your Password link to reset your password. You have to provide the email used at the time of registration. You can also use your user ID and mobile number to receive an SMS to reset your password. Job Seeker or Employee Landing Page If you are looking for a job, this page provides the details of all job vacancies announced by the employers including the ministries. You can apply for a vacancy in just three simple steps. 1. Register as Job Seeker 2. Update your profile 3. Apply for job or training Let us explore the page first. You will see two tabs. Search Job tab to look for a job of your interest. And the second tab, Searching for Training is where you can find training opportunities. Just below, you can view the list of job offerings and search them according to your preferences such as category, location or qualifications. For now, let's click on Food and Beverage Associate and you will see the list of job offerings. To learn more about the job, click on the View Job Details. If you find it suitable, you can apply for it by clicking on the Login to Apply button. Explore Job Seeker or Employee Dashboard On the top right corner, click on the Login button. Provide the credentials and click Login. You will be taken to your dashboard. On your dashboard, you will find your profile updated status, news and announcement from the ministry, and you can view the suggested list of relevant job offerings only after your qualifications and preferences are set. Finally, under the list of applications, you can view the list of jobs you have applied for. Update Profile On your left side, click on Profile. Here, you can update your personal information, education background, training, experience, job preferences, awards, and other details. You can also generate and download your curriculum vitae or CV by clicking on the Download button. On Notification Settings, you can change how you want to receive the notifications. After your profile information is added or updated, you can now explore job openings by clicking on Search Job and Training. Click on the Search Job. By default, you will see the list of most recent jobs that you can filter based on your qualification. If you want to apply for a job, you can click on Apply button or click on the View Job Details button to view the descriptions and apply by clicking on the Apply button. Click on Search Training. By default, you will see a list of trainings based on the level of certification such as Skill Development Plan (STP), Institute Certificate, National Certificate and Entrepreneurship. You can apply directly by clicking on the Apply button, fill in the form and click on Submit button. You can also find the list of applied jobs on the Application History menu. Please check the status of your application regularly. If you are shortlisted, your status will change to shortlisted and to selected if you are selected. 
You can also find your job history under the job history page. So this is the end of the tutorial for how to use the MLHR MIS for job seekers or employees. If you have any questions, please contact ICT division MLHR at ICT at MLHR.gov.pt. Tashi Delek and Karin Chela.